Welcome back to Dungeon Duos! Today we are trying Wailing Caverns. It is I, Magnator, the Tauran warrior. And I, Zotos, the one in my blood, <laughs> blood elf priest. Ah. This is not a level 16 dungeon, they said it was level 16 on, on Wowpedia. Yeah, well, we need a bit more of a challenge. Cause well, that means that the, the other three level 15 ones are going to be super easy, though. Because <laughs> we're going to do every dungeon. We can't be the dungeon doers by skipping dungeons. Do you agree? Um, yeah, I, I think I agree with that. But yeah, I think, I don't know. We need at least one challenge. If we do it all in order, maybe they're all not going to be that difficult. I don't know. We'll see. You're actually losing mana. Yeah, I don't think I was at all last time. But I think I am healing. Well, I'm definitely healing more than last time. I'm healing more efficiently than last time because now I have actual proper mouse over macros, whereas last time it's just. I don't know. <laughs> I'm at flurry. Well, I'm still just randomly pressing buttons as they come up to them. So, if anyone wants to recommend a good tanking UI for me, I'll use it. If not, I won't. Don't care. Don't know if anyone watched the previous one, haven't released them yet. But we're going to assume you guys did and you loved it, and so we're releasing more. Come on, crashy boy. Doesn't take much damage, that's for sure. I mean, that's the kind of thing you want when you're trying to kill something for its shell to use as a shield. Crash has been defeated. I got nothing. What a rip. That raptor just like walked backwards and turned around and walked backwards again. <laughs> like a moon walked away, it's like, I'm out of here. Ooh, enchant mine and mana. Sell out in the auction house for a tidy profit. Where's the echo? Need more thunderclap. Some cooldown. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't smother yourself in barbecue sauce before we do a, a dungeon with raptors. <laughs> but I like it. It's cute and sweet. I actually forgot something. 
your health for it. <laughs> That's very reassuring. I mean, I just missed. Ah, oh, it's healing. Shit, I got nothing to interrupt it. Yet. I got my war stomp. War stomp? Yeah. But I used it already. I thought she was running for you, but she was just running. Oh, it healed, she healed the raptor. I thought she like inter you interrupted her or something. But she healed the, the dinosaur. Ring a ding ding, mofo. Heroic throw. Yeah. It's not so. I guess it's useful now that you don't. Hey, look! Have, dungeon uh, unlocked. Guns. Whales, uh, whaling caverns, and shadow fang keep. Narrowlex descends deeper into his nightmare. A strange breed of beasts arose from beneath the barrens into the wailing caverns. These deviant creatures have strange, otherworldly properties. Their very existence causes great pain to the earth. I believe that slaying them will greatly aid our work in healing the cavern. Slay as many as you can and bring me hives of three. We've already killed half the raptors in this place. There is a herb in these caverns that holds untold power, Magnetor. That's me. Perhaps you wish to help me collect it. It's a rare flower called Serpent Bloom. I believe that in greater quantities it has the potential to prevent nightmares like Narrowlexes from being from ever occurring. Um, and Narrowlex had a noble goal. A great leader aspired to enter the Emerald Dream and help regrow these harsh lands back into the lush forest it once was. But something went terribly wrong. Narrowlex's trusted allies, the Druids of the Fang, turned on him. They seek not to heal the barons, but to dominate it. Okay. So who's actually Narlex? Have we met Narlex before? <laughs> oh look. If you actually click on Wailing Caverns now, it says, Years ago, the famed druid Narlex and his followers descended into the shadowy Wailing Caverns named From Mournful Cry One Hears When stream Steam Bursts From the Cave Systems Fissures. That's a really complex sentence. Narlex planned to use the underground springs to restore lushness to the barrens, but upon entering the em Emerald Dream, he saw his vision of regrowth turn into a waking nightmare. One that has played the caverns ever since. And now if you click on the the um the things it tells you things about them on the bosses. The adventure guy down the bottom. So if Crash who we've just killed, Crash's bite has current target reducing the armor by ten percent. And he was an ancient resident of the Wailing Caverns. This giant turtle wanders the underground caves, his resilient mind unaffected by Narlex's relentless nightmares. Don't be fooled by his happy disposition. Kresh has thwarted many adventurers who long to steal his massive shell. Fight me. Just by not Where are you going? Where are you? Okay. There's a boss here. Yes, we Alright. Oh, we'll do the lap. But there's a boss right here. This boss is Lady Anacondra. Scarlet Leaf was the first to volunteer for Narlex's self-appointed mission for Baron. After her master's nightmare shattered her mind, the young acolyte cast aside her aim now envisioning a sinister reptilian future of Azeroth. And, and the line is holding my bit. I'm asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the line is hold my beer can. Okay, I'll remember that. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, I'm asleep. <laughs> hold my beer. No, that's the wrong time. Back. And I just bubbled oh, man.
can. If you're a druid. I'm asleep again. <laughs> and... I had drunk a potion. <laughs> if you're a druid, right, and could turn into an enemy. Yeah, I'm asleep. Would you yeah. do it with an, another animal of the same species? Oh, <laughs> the tough questions. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't think about that one. I guess it's um, <laughs> you have to think long and hard well, about it. <laughs> maybe. I don't think it's what is culturally acceptable. So, well, I'm I guess it depends. Who knows? Way. Who I'm knows that someone, you're already... might say no, I won't. Someone might feel really strongly about, you know, inter-species relationships. <laughs> Get a cam, she's running away. Good work. That was hard, because they kept healing each other. Pesky little druids. But is it inter-species relationships? Because, you know, technically you're the same species as them at the time. Yeah, so that's probably right. But I wonder if, if you can get pregnant as a like, clove off into a bear. <laughs> and, like, how does that even work? <laughs> I don't know. These are the questions. I used to wonder the same thing when I watched Animorphs as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Animals. It's a really deep question. It is. You know, think about when you're that age. That could be a totally different like um, show now. <laughs> now that we're putting these questions into it. Because you could pose the same question to Twilight. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Well, there was a question that someone asked on Facebook the other day, and it was, um, do vampires poop? <laughs> Which is a good question, and you can actually, um, you can get right into it with explaining why it's not possible. Then you can just use the old, oh, it's just magic. Mind, and then anything's possible. Take that lady in a quandra. Well, in um, True Blood, they cry. He cries? Vampires. They can yeah, cry they blood. Much everything. They even eat. Um, and maybe in the books, I haven't read, I'll have to ask Rachel, but maybe in the books they poop and they just poop blood in that case, you know, so I guess. Because that's kind of how I pictured it, is if they did poop, it'd be super gross because they're just eating blood. I'm out of range. See I kind of wonder whether it's... See that intercept there, like... I did it. <laughs> I sort of wonder about, like, yeah, like when you drink milk. Um, curdles in your stomach, so it ends up being more like food. So I wonder if blood would sort of be similar, whether it's sort of you digest it more like a food or a liquid. Oh, look at all this serpent blink. Ow. <laughs> you scum. I remember this guy being a lot bigger back in the day. Maybe because you weren't a Tauren? Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think this place has changed at all. It doesn't look like it, but I just swear this guy was a big guy. Really big one. 
And he was in like a cage or something. Oh yeah, there was my own cage. I think. Yeah, there was definitely a cage somewhere. Why does everything run from me in here? And the Leroy Jenkins ones. Yeah. That's awesome. It's kind of funny though, some of the ones I tried to cut out <laughs> in the previous one. We were having like a conversation as we engage. <laughs> so I'm like, well the conversation is not terrible, but I have to go back to the start of the conversation or people are going to be really confused. I haven't gotten a single item yet. I feel like, I feel like um, getting let down.